Second class requirement number two, part B. On one of your overnight campouts, select your patrol site and sleep in the tent you pitch. There's nothing more fun than camping out overnight, if you're smart about picking a good campsite. Of course, you'll want a location that offers plenty to see and do. That's just common sense. But there are other important campsite qualifications you need to consider. We're going to show you some pictures of potential campsites one at a time. When each photo comes on, you'll have a chance to pause the video and see if you can identify the things that make this a problem campsite. Then when you're ready, play the video again and see if you correctly identified the problems. Sorry, just having a little fun on this one. Although it actually is a bad idea to camp near game trails, especially in bear country. Here's your first campsite. Can you spy the problems? Your hint is, keep your eyes on the skies. You can pause your video now, then play when you're ready to hear the answer. Okay, let's look at the problems. First, it's not a good idea to pitch your tent under dead trees or limbs that might fall in a storm. Secondly, sites under lone trees or on ridges and mountaintops are likely targets for lightning. Not a good place to be. Also, you don't want to camp near gullies and low spots that can flood or on ground that drains poorly, unless you like mud wrestling. Now here's the next campsite. What problems do you see? Your hints are, just say please and think big. Pause now and press play when you're ready for the answer. You probably caught the no trespassing sign. It's always important to get permission from landowners before camping on private property. It's the right thing to do, and it just might save you some unexpected surprises. And be sure to get permits where required on public lands. Now, back to our site. Even with permission, it's awfully small and cramped. There's hardly any room for one tent much less a whole patrol. Now here's your last quiz site. What's wrong with the picture? No hint this time. Pause now and press play when you're ready for the answer. What's wrong with this campsite? It's beautiful, almost untouched. And that's the problem. Our goal as scouts is to preserve the environment, to camp without leaving a trace. That means using established campsites whenever we can, staying on established trails as much as possible. And if fires are allowed, build them in existing fire rings or use a camp stove if wood is scarce. Your scout handbook has lots more info about selecting good campsites while protecting the land we're privileged to use. On any campout, you'll need water for cooking, cleanup, and drinking. Several gallons a day for each scout. If a public water source isn't available, any water from streams and lakes has to be treated before you use it. By now, you've already helped pitch a tent as part of your tenderfoot rank requirements. So, it's time to take it up a notch. That means practice, practice, practice. And one fun way to improve your skills is to practice with your patrol. You can even challenge other patrols to a tent pitching race. Just think, next time your troop comes trudging into a new campsite after dark, you and your patrol will be more than prepared. That's second class requirement 2B. Select your campsite for an overnight campout and sleep in a tent that you pitched. Have fun with this one.